Welcome to Saltmarsh, a small fishing town in the kingdom of Kaoland. The citizens of Saltmarsh are just nice, totally normal, salt-of-the-earth type people. If you're in the mood for libations, head on over to the Snap and Line for some refreshing lobster claw wine. More in the market for new armaments? The Dwarven Anvil can take care of all your plate mail bikini needs. Or, if you want to take out a vicious burrito smuggling gang, then you can hire this ragtag menagerie of adventurers to help you out. So, what happens when an owl, a horse, a turtle, a frog, and an elf walk into a bar? Well, why don't you stick around and find out? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Helpful Goat Presents the Goats of Saltmarsh. Let me know if I'm super loud because I feel like my monitor is suggesting I am, but now it's not, so I don't know. My mic has been weird. God willing. Sound good to me. Speakers. Thank you, Andy, for providing a sound signature to tell if they can hear you. I'm not listening to Twitch either. Okay. There is a poem. <laughs> so we're good. Um... <laughs> My name is Galway, and I am one of the founders and the programming director for Helpful Goat Gaming, small independent game design and game content creation community. And tonight we are playing some Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition with the Ghosts of Saltmarsh, which we have renamed so cleverly the Goats of Saltmarsh. Um, before I turn things over to Rachel, our GM, and introductions of the rest of the crew, uh, a few quick announcements. Uh, first, we stream multiple times a week, generally here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Helpful Goat. We have our archive over at YouTube. Just look for Helpful Goat Gaming. Uh, coming up this week, we have Goats of Saltmarsh uh, today. On Wednesday, I believe, we have Monster of the Week starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. On Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we have Spire. And on Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern, we have me punch drunk from not having slept because of Elden Ring playing Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> with the Fates of Rin. <laughs> it's fine. Charity might be a little weird this session, everybody. Um, and then... Uh, thank you for... Oh, it's you, Andy. I, I just got a goat screech in my ears, which I need Sorry. to, like, adjust that volume for my monitor feedback because it's super cute on the stream. It's real surprising in my ears when it comes out of nowhere. Um, so, as I mentioned, we are uh, a game content and game streaming community. If you'd like to join that community, exclamation point, Discord, or check out the Discord link down below if you're following us on YouTube and also it's here on Twitch and our panels. Um, we do all kinds of events there. Rachel reads to us in an attempt to teach us how to read and better ourselves. It is not going great so far. Um, I will be streaming Elden Ring uh, this weekend and also answering questions about Tyr. Um, we do game days, movie nights, all kinds of stuff. So come in, check it out. It's also just honestly really friendly, loving, supportive community. Um, super proud of being a part of it. So I recommend checking it out. If you would like to... Uh, support that community and support our continued growth, our ability to do giveaways, resources, merch development, art development, all of those types of things. There's a few ways you can support us. First and foremost, we are here on Twitch. We are an affiliate. You can cheer bits. You can subscribe to us and you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime if you are an Amazon Prime member. Um, all of those benefit us enormously. Also, as always, you only get, get one free uh, Twitch Prime sub every month. Even if you don't use it on us, please use it on someone, especially like a smaller or a mid-sized streamer. It makes a huge difference um, to content creators who are not one of the massive names that pulls in like 50,000 plus people a stream. Um, it's a really, really big difference. It's part of what's let us get to work. So I encourage you to use it, even if it's not. Uh, exclamation point coffee, KO-FI, lets you donate directly to us through our coffee page. And if you'd like some swag with your financial support, exclamation point merch uh, gets you uh, the link to our merch page where you can get mugs, stickers, uh, amazing prints of uh, Dom and Dragon's characters uh, done by our very own Chelsea. Um, 
all of the above. Go check it out. Uh, we have new stuff very regularly. Finally, uh, before I turn things over, exclamation point, donate in the chat. Um, we here at Helpful Goat like to highlight causes, communities that are near and dear to our hearts. Right now, we are highlighting the Forever Project. Um, I like that Chelsea knows my flow through this well enough that she beat you to that, Andy, and she's on, like, a 20-second delay. Um... <clears throat> Especially don't uh, Trevor Project benefiting LGBTQ youth. Um, as always, we encourage you if you have the time and the energy, um, check this out. Check out the links that we provide, uh, and then if you have the resources and you'd like to do something, um, look for a charity in your area. Look for a local charity because those charities have a really hard time fundraising, um, and often do a lot more direct interdisciplinary work and make. So, as always, we appreciate you. Hope you can check those out. Uh, and with that, I think I will turn it over to our DM for the evening, Rachel. It's me. I'm Rachel. I'm only, I'm mentally about 65% here. It's, you know, the other half, that, that's not how percentages work. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, but maybe it is now. Maybe it is now. Like with now, baby, you're at 115% of person. Yep, that's 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 what it is when you're pregnant, right? Of the extra fifteen percent is the yep. is the baby inside that's just like wah ha ha. Yeah, yeah, pregnancy brain is a good thing that boosts your brain power. What they yeah. say is uh, you're never out. more dumb than when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you have two brains inside of you, but your one brain barely works. So I, I just like the noise that you also made for uh, you know this uh, incipient uh, life, which really uh, sounded like you know uh, the baby inside <laughs> you is just launching into the immigrant song. Constantly. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, hi, I'm here, and I'm here. My name is Rachel, and I'm UTM, and I use she, her, hers pronouns. And I'm going to look at the stream and pass it to... I punched my still in the class. What? I punched myself with the glasses. Intros are going great. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, now I'm going to pee myself because I'm laughing. <laughs> I tried to do this. And I just... I shoved my glasses into my nose so hard and I hurt. Okay, okay. You know, Galway, for, for this stream in particular, I really like need an overlay. It's like a technical Sorry. difficulty screen, but it's just we are literal professional. Rachel, be right back. <laughs> Rachel going, I punched myself. <laughs> Monty, could you please draw that? And that will be our technical oh. difficulty screen. I'll put it up for. <laughs> for so, anyway, I'm going to pass it to Monty. Hi, I'm gonna try not to punch myself in the glasses. Um, I'm Monty. Is they them pronouns? Uh, I'm gonna be Gunk, currently a Leoplorodon, um, who also uses they them or he him pronouns. I'm gonna go down, cause that's easy. To Andy. Hey, I'm Andy. I play Baz Wolford, and we both go by he him his. And I'm gonna. Oh, pass it over to whoever's that way. I hate you. That's no one. It's off the Hi, edge of the screen. I guess we're wrapping around the screen. Wrapping her all the I'm way just, around. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's what Andy's doing. Hi, I'm yeah. Joel. He him his playing Dunlum the Turtle Cleric. Also going by he him his. This is Jeffrey. We don't talk about Jeffrey. I don't have glasses to punch myself oh, in the face Jeffrey. with. So we're going to head that way back to Lena, who should have been next. Hi, I'm Lena. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm playing Ocean Blue, the sea elf paladin, whose pronouns are also she, her, and I'm not going to punch myself in my face because I don't want to. Because um, you're smart? No, I, I How dare. Just don't want to. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, I'm going to pass it diagonally up to... Oh, the other way. 
Um, no, this is correct. No. Is um, <laughs> no. It is not. Well, it's going yeah. that way. Hey, but anywho. Let's, let's do it. So. But anywho. Uh, no. uh, as I mentioned, my name is Galway, pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, I play Virgil Mondragon, the centaur barbarian, whose pronouns are also he, him, his. Hong Kong? I don't think we've done that in a while. Anyway. Yeah, Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. Back over, Rachel. Uh, yeah. And it's me. And we're going to talk about... God, my fucking thumb knuckle hurts. It's fine. Did you punch um, yourself that hard? That like, was... It was just like it hit the edge of my glasses and it was like... Arguably the best part of that was, ow, I punched myself. And then I see you're shaking your hand. I'm like, not only that, but bad enough to hurt your hand. Glasses are hard. <sighs> so, <laughs> last week, what happened? We uh, assaulted the uh, uh, place, and we got deeper and deeper in, and we've killed a bunch of people. And, a lot of people, yeah. And, and then we fought the big people. Uh, the, back, zip, zip. Yep, the Baron and the Baroness of this establishment. Uh, and they were all haughty and they were all like cocky and they were all like, you know, you're not gonna kill me, but we were like killing them in that process. Um, a, a, uh, creepy dude in the back was casting something, doing something and we couldn't stop it. And now this giant maw of a secular two headed shark has appeared and now we're going to have to fight it or run. Yeah, because Rachel is uh, does what she wants as a DM and just decided that she really wanted you to fight this fucking shark. So <laughs> took away your ability to make the shark not appear here because fuck you. Um, <laughs> so I'm just that's that's Rachel's DM strategy. I'm just saying, can we communicate with the Baron and be like, look, 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 blood feud, all of that. I get you. You've got a two headed shark. We got a Leopleridon. What say we round up everybody who's still alive from the armies and just get some bets going? <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, let's do this. Uh, also, we should read that Chelsea's summarize. poem. That's exactly what I was about to say. No one else can summarize. It's Chelsea's poem. Yay. Oh, Somebody read it. It's been a while since I... I've done it. Do it. The battle against the swag man wages on as the menagerie grows more battle squishy. The next round awaits, and things are getting even far more fishy. Mm. Facing a two-headed shark, chunky boy, and a salty fight, looks like Ma will be on the snack platter tonight. This biggest excite for all the delightful mayhem sure to ensue. Much love, Saltmarsh crew. I can see and hear you. Thank Hooray. you, Chelsea. Chelsea, that's awesome. You're the best. Big knife man, swag man. We are battle squishy, I agree. Yes. So now Rachel, who is totally prepared for all of this and is ready for things. Um, it's a magical Leo Pluridon, Charlie, is really just the last line here. It's fine. <laughs> Where is my... No, I don't want my carnival music. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what we need. I'm just picturing the whatever, like... Dark Moon Carnival just like rolls in. Hey, oh, y'all busy, huh? We'll be over here setting up the uh, the the games. Whoever wins, stop on by. Yeah, just yeah, come on by. I'm going to just click play mm -hmm. on some things and we're just going to see. I'm it's kind of chill. Fine. I like it. Chill, it cool chill for battle music. Huh? No, yeah. it's got enough. It's got a little bit of a beat. Yeah, it's got enough pep. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, good. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> okay. ooh, and he's okay. funky, funky as hell. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so the the swagman high priestess summoned the uh, God. I can't read what it says because all of the drawings are over it, so I can't actually see its Maw name tag. The Maw of Secula. Thank you. Or the Orthra Shark, as I refer to it. <laughs> And nobody attempted to stop it at all. It was very surprising. <laughs> you... 
I'm just going to say that idiots. I am just going to say that Virgil is making eye contact with this shark and just like looking at the fact that it has two mouths. It's like, so there's no chance this thing doesn't try to bite. I don't suppose anyone can give it just like a knife, <laughs> a little variety. A little knife its fin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Finally. It does look in the picture like it has Christmas lights on it. it yeah, no, yeah. it defo has like Christmas bling. <laughs> it's I mean, it's related really to that. the other holiday things, right? Yep, there you go. Uh, and as this here uh, maw of Sekula is uh, summoned, suddenly through the doors behind um, the... Oh, that was very startling. H N five. I like that it actually <laughs> focused it's on the, the text that's there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, through the doors burst some other people that uh, we were that were part of the of the the siege. I couldn't think of words. Um, kaboom! They don't have pretty tokens because yeah. fuck you. So. First, you see a lizard folk person. Ooh. Hail for days. <laughs> and then you see uh... you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yes. I'm going to picture someone just like that walking in and Virgil's like, oh, God. Oh, oh, they did horrible things to that one. <laughs> Even Virgil's scared of that. <laughs> uh, and then uh, behind them you see a fish person and a mermaid person and they say is this where the final fight is <laughs> Virgil's just going to lean around the giant shark and try to get sight line between the giant shark and the baron <laughs> do I recognize it's been a lot okay the lizard folk oh oh it's been a lot Virgil's just gonna point at like the pair of like packs of spears and like hammers. It's been a lot, everyone. Did you hear that, fellas? It's been a lot. Andy, I'm gonna say because you're underwater and it, you're a bit far. Can you make a perception check? Because it's a bit, it's a bit murky and weird. And uh, sure. Just yeah. focusing directly on the tail. Also, like we don't have to get into this, but like. So you can breathe underwater, but your body's not like made for underwater. So like, are your eyes just like drying out in the salt water? Like you don't have goggles. Yeah, on. they're burning constantly. I have a a thing that gives me free movement in water. Um, the mantle of the stingray or something like that. Which you do actually have to pull it over Freely your head eyes. specifically. Oh, it's all, it's over my head. And uh, eleven perception. Uh, it's hard to see. You're not quite sure. You think maybe, Initiative. but you would like to get closer. That's pretty much interesting. The, that's pretty much the subtitle for Baz's entire character. Arc. Oh, except I'm about <laughs> to add them to the fucking um, uh, initiative roll. So just pretend that you don't see that. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> I couldn't Dang. remember their name. Because <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Wait, what did you name it then? <laughs> you can you can see the initiative, right? We can't see the names, but in the initiative? No. We see, we can see the roles. Mage, berserker. Oh, yeah, we good. see three blank characters in the good. bottom. Yeah. Oh well, that's useful to everybody. I was gonna say we're not gonna be able to help you with who's going where because I'm just like uh, silhouette. The fast one is up. Person initiative twelve. Person initiative sixteen. Um, uh, so, oh, I guess we'll be starting at the top. So, yeah, so they burst in. They're ready. Baz, you're not 100% sure, but you have a feeling, maybe? If you could just see a little better. I, I just scream at them, like, get the fuck out of here. We, we have this. When did you become Scottish? I was going to say, one. We do not have this. Get the fuck out of here. Two, as, like... <laughs> As ocean is just bleeding into the water, and Virgil's like, um, mm -mm. 
Come come on in. Stop less less stupid questions, no, more killing no. them. Out. Someone Everyone tell out. Them not to kill the dinosaur. Otherwise, Except that one. Dinosaur. That monster's with us. Thank you. I'd flip away. <laughs> <laughs> They look over at Baz, confused? Don't... He's been attacked from like, the ceiling by a lot of swagmen. It's okay. We're, we're a part of the force to defeat the Sahuagin? Force it somewhere else. I... We'll deal no. with him later. It's fine. And on that note, it is the Leo Pluridon's turn. Leo Pluridon. <laughs> Leo Pluridon. I have. I can move fifty. Okay. How far away is? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> go right in there and chomp him. Chomp, chomp as, him. As there's just this rush of movement from this massive creature behind us, I feel like Virgil's just going to sort of turn to Ocean. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking as soon as I saw that. <laughs> oh, should we mention Ocean is is up with very few hit points? Yes, because we... we there was some retconning that needed to happen. Some things based on Rachel's last-minute GM decisions that Andy's totally okay with. <laughs> I'm actually going to move to the other side instead. Okay. That's Straight okay. through the throne. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I burst through the star. Uh, the oh, that's throne, awesome! Throne, nice. throne. Beautiful. And then I chomp the shark. Chomp that shark. Give him a chomp for a nineteen. God, I hope that hits. Um, oh. it sure does. Virgil's going to be reassessing a whole bunch of priorities if it doesn't. Damage twenty piercing. Damn. Damn. I am assuming it is roll. not a medium or small creature. It is not. No. It is about the same size as you are. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to hit a uh, Baroness Lady with my tail for a Oh, crit. <laughs> That's a 30 this, all this up. Holy shit. This is the this Baron. Is the Baron. Yeah, yeah that Kept demo Mac. hit. Bar Baron. Baron Kept Mac. You have Baron. already defeated Baroness Zipzorp. Jesus. Yeah, I keep Kept getting Mac confused with them. Jesus oh, Christ. 20. 26 so plus 16. 42. 42. 42 damage. That Blood took a damage. big chunk out of this boy. He's yeah. not happy. Excellent. I just like the idea of you bursting through this throne, biting one of the sharks, like, directly on one of its heads, and then just, like, turning and slapping the Baron. Yeah, I'm getting into a bit of a blood frenzy now, I think. <laughs> just, ah! Okay. Yeah, I'm Beautiful. good. And my... Next, yeah. it is Scottish Bez. The Scottish Bez. Um, Scottish Bez will uh, swim 50 feet. Okay. Like, over here to get a better look. Is this my lizard folk? Uh, think... Yes, it is. <gasps> He's here. He looks nervous and somewhat beat up but like, like yep that one that one he's got he's got like his spell book in like a plastic ziploc baggie type of thing mm -hmm. to make sure that it's protected nicely oh, oh my god it's in the burrito foil that's what it was for the entire time <laughs> that was its magic <laughs> there you go Ooh. um it also makes it feel like he's a conspiracy uh, 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 Montague, would you can't be here. This is so dangerous. I've been here the whole time. What are you talking about? We... Uh, do you know how long I've been here? Well, you were just with the forces, or no? You, they, you've been... they, I've been being used as a translator. I've been a prisoner here. But you we can't can... be in this room. Look at that thing. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. Crazy. Look at it. <laughs> what is happening to you? This is I'm more just, than I'm six my, seconds, very, sir. <clears throat> I'm just very c concerned right now. Uh, one moment. Stay behind me as best you can. Uh, and I... in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is the lizard person. Oh, that guy. Is there. Oh, okay. I, I could make it fucking easier. I just... Here, there. Does that help? That's lizard. 
<laughs> you see the sure. little green dot? Green. Yeah, yeah, I get to. Blue is for fish. Yeah. And sure. mermaid is Pink. fuck. Pink. 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 Shit. The mermaid um, fighter is a dude and the fish priest is a lady as well. Not that they didn't come in here and be like, here are our pronouns. Tail for days so, and sure as that. close an approximation to the facial expression that Monty drew as I could. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I get out my quarterstaff. He looks like he looks determined to as to you like pull, as you pull out the staff, you're just gonna see Virgil. No. <laughs> uh, I pull out the staff and use my action to get in front of Montague and just like square up on this. Are you? Do you want a ready uh, priest like a an action if somebody attacks him? I don't have an action. That was my action. Yeah. Wait. To get why? up there. He had to dash. Oh, you had, I had to dash. dash. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was like, it's not an action to get between somebody, sir. <laughs> In this yes. case, it is. Yeah. Yes. I feel. And that's it. Okay. Virgil. Virgil just has this like look of resignation. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, I suppose there's really no chance what with the two mouths and the just being a shark that this is going to, you know, at all go well. But he's just going to, like, gently lay a spear down. If you want to, instead of the biting, that'd be great. I am going to attempt to kill you. <laughs> FYI. Um, and Virgil is going to... I'm going to open Virgil's character sheet because I haven't done that yet. Uh, recklessly attack, great weapon mastery, swing at the big shark. Do it. 13. 13 hits. 15, uh, 18 slashing. <sighs> Too much uh, damage to my big shark boy. Why didn't you type? Second attack. Uh, 15 or another 18 damage. Damn. Shark boy is not happy. Okay, now it is fish priest lady. Fish and priest lady! <laughs> she's going to kind of move around just to get an idea of what's happening and sees ocean. And ocean looks pretty fucked up. All the more reason to leave me alone. So, oh, so so we, fish we priest lady priest is going to cast cure wounds on you. Oh, this is nice, priest lady. Nice priest. Yes, nice. Um, I thought this was summoning priest lady. Uh, I'm gonna have her move around this way. So, we're gonna say because I didn't pay attention to the order that I put them in. <laughs> just gonna be there, and she's gonna cast cure wounds. Listen. This is what's happening because Rachel thought everything through very well. I like that she's just, I'm assuming she's just sort of approaching the cloud of blood at this point that is ocean. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much she just sees and she's like, oh, jeez. Yo, <laughs> you are yeah, yeah, terrible. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not been great. <laughs> We've had a do lot. You, do you need some help? Yeah, I can give you mushrooms in exchange. No, please don't. I'm a fish. And she will cast a third level Cure Wounds on you. Oh. Nice. Well, that's lovely. Healing you for 20 hit points. Sweet. And then... So much better. She's gonna just th then look up at the two-headed shark and just go, Fuck. Please don't let it kill me. Thank you. I will do my best. That's a paid and... service. No, they, we she just killed me. We don't have to charge her. And now mermaid dude, mermaid fighter dude, is going to come up uh, and attack the uh, swagman high priestess. Uh, he's going to reckless attack with his great axe. <sighs> Ooh, Virgil's got competition. I'm really glad no, it was reckless doesn't. because it would have been a crit fail. 
But a oh, 14 reckless. just yeah, hit. Yeah. That's why I did reckless to set it. <laughs> set it beforehand. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's reckless, not great weapon mastery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For a whopping five slashing damage. Ooh, no, the Virgil crowd doesn't really goes have a... wild. No, 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 no competition yet. <clears throat> when the mermaid's just like, I'm I'm only just starting. Just uh-huh. wait, just warming up my axe. My just axe stay be- just stay between the bird and everything else and we're good. <laughs> Why is there a bird underwater? The, That's you the want- question to have. Um and then uh, it is now what I have put in as Baz's lizard friend because I couldn't remember his name off the top of my head. Montague Blaine. <laughs> yeah, Baz's lizard friend. I like friend. lizard friend. Uh, he is going to yell, Cat Mac! And run over here to... Uh, the fuck are you doing, Montague? <laughs> to bury Cat Mac. <laughs> Well, actually, he's not a fucking melee fighter, so he. Can I was gonna say no, no, no. Here. Sorry, he's if he did that, if he now. did that, Virgil was gonna be was going to go there. That's how it feels. <laughs> that's how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you're right. Um, and he is going to. How far are you? Okay, so he's he is gonna move just to get a little bit more of a. A good angle? Yes, excellent. Good. Good, good, good. Um, and then let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He is going to cast Cone of Cold. <laughs> and he's going to attempt to hit at least these two. And but oh wait, but no, if he does it then he'll hurt the Leopluridon and yeah. he doesn't want to do that. He's not insane magical just yet. The magical Leopluridon. So I mean, maybe, what are you? Leo Pluridon is on borrowed hit points, though. So what do you I also think Cone of Cold would hit us. <laughs> yeah. It's 60, I think, isn't it's it? 60 feet. Yeah. yeah it's It'd be real bad. Feet. So what <laughs> if instead... I've healed your friend. Oh, God. What if instead he casts Ice Storm? That's a 20 foot radius. Okay. Could we like? Is there a way? There's not a way to make it so he doesn't hurt everybody. No. God, you guys are all clustered together, and it's bullshit. If something is fifteen. You could get. You're fifteen. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> um. So what about? How do? F- it's magical, right? So like, fire is a thing. Under yeah, magical fire works under water. Yeah. What is the radius of fireball? Twenty feet. <laughs> More. Also, it yeah. doesn't yes. say in the I was going to say every caster who's ever had access to fireball, twenty feet. Yep. It says the range and it says the target, but it doesn't say the Tw- twenty foot radius. Oh, spreads if around. You read it. Each creature thing. It just Spre- usually it spreads around corners. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so he's going to yell, "Cat Mac!" He's going to move over there. And then he's going to make a very disgruntled face because he's going to look at Baz and just say, these people are all in the way. I know. He is going to instead cast magic missile. That's my favorite spell. I I learned it from watching you. I feel (laughs) I feel like these people are all in the way. Virgil just like looks at the Leo Pluriton. It's just like. And he's going to... Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Bladder kicks. Um, He is going to cast it at fourth level, because fuck it. Okay. That means, that means he gets one. four of... I know. Uh, five total, then. Yes, five. It, uh, usually you can click on things and it'll bring up like a, hey, do this at a... Yeah, know. no. Any of the ray spells? Not so much. Um, How many is that now? Four. Thank you. Uh, Okay. So he cast it at whatever the fuck that level was for four, seven, nine, eleven, sixteen. Thank you. I could have just listened to you, but I was already partway there. 
and he just yells, Cat Mac! And then just uh, blasts him for 16 Zip points. Zorp. And Look. just looks Zorp. real... Just... Just real ragey. And... Uh, Wizard rage. Yeah, mage rage. It's a common thing among academics. <laughs> and he's going to push up his glasses, which are, of course, broken, but held together with burrito foil. Um, and it's now wow, Ocean's turn. That's, that's so cute. What an image. <laughs> um, so I'm at 30 health now, which is better. It's uh, more than I have, certainly. <laughs> um, I'm also almost out of spell slots. I, like, never do this. Disengaging is a full action, right? I can't do right. anything else that's an action. Yes. You're okay, I'm just going to stand just here. Yes. I'm going to stand here and cure my wounds again. Um, Ouch. At uh, second level, as soon as I figure out how to cast spells. I've been forgetting, also, that, like fucking I have goddamn legendary actions that I could have been taking this whole time. That's fine. But it's really so okay to forget advantage. that. We are fine. so We're not going to you at all. Yeah. yeah good luck. So 13 more. <laughs> um, and that's it for me because I'm mostly hanging out here so I can shield protect people. It's okay. I'll remember after it's his turn now. So now it's his turn and he's going to look at the spear that Virgil put on the ground in front of him and he's going to flick at it with its tail and whip it away and then he's going to bite at Virgil he has advantage because I recklessly attacked also I'm missing HP and all these shark motherfuckers a 21 to hit oof uh, 21 hits and he does 20 piercing, so halved to 10, I'm assuming. Owie. Hey, how does um, Virgil look? <laughs> Not good? Oh, no, I'm good. I look, like you look a good? I look like a barbarian. You don't look like a barbarian who's bleeding out profusely. No, I, I, look, like, I look like somewhere in hell, uh, Big Knife Man Swagman is really regretting his decisions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna tail smash at the. Uh, he's gonna tail smash at the Leo Pluridon. <gasps> uh, Slap which, fight. He does get advantage because of the blood frenzy. They all do. Yeah. Um, so that's a twenty-four to hit. The blood yeah. frenzy. And it's only nine dam bludgeoning damage. And now it's Baron Kepmax's turn. And he's going to turn. And. Uh, uh, Baz, you're the only one that understands Sohagen. As he turns and faces Montague, he's going to say in Sohagen, how did you get out of your cage? And he is going to rush over and attempt Montague, to... Okay. Uh, he's going to try to end him uh, um, once with did so he's he gonna... pick up his trident from when he threw it at me? No, he didn't. Fuck you. He's gonna bite him and claw it at him. <laughs> you remember this? It was two weeks ago. Ugh. It was at me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. He rolled a fourteen, a thirteen, and a natural twenty. So all Ooh. of those hit. Of so that's seventeen plus seventeen, which is thirty-four. Yeah, Montague looks fucked up. Like, Montague was like, hur, hur, like, so, like, ready for it. And then Cat Mac just comes over and bites at him and slashes at his claws. And Montague is, like, practically, like, almost, like, falling to the floor, bloodied and, like, oh, God, that hurts so bad. Like, he's really bad. Is this a thing with, like, academics? Like, you. You cast spells. Don't walk up to them. He's really bad. His oh. bicep is larger than you. 
Also, he's a shark. I think he has like six biceps. Uh, uh, anyway, that's Baron Ketmak's turn. Don't him. Oh, of course it is. Yes. Oh, Dunlum, you way back. Dunlum's gonna get more into the fight with full movement speed. Go nuclear. I don't have a nuclear. Don't, don't have a nuclear me. option? That's not a toggle or something you can click? <laughs> um, Probably call lightning on water. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, so Dunlum's gonna use the optional cleric feature to use a channel divinity to gain a spell slot. Oh, fancy. That. Um. And since going nuclear is not a Dunlum option, he's going to cast Bless on three in front of him, which are Virgil, Ocean, and Blue Fish. I, I figure the what? big one will be doing okay. What did you bless. said? You're going to do something to Blue Fish, and that's all I heard. I'm sorry. Uh, bless. Sorry. The Bless okay. spell: Virgil, Ocean, and Blue. Fish. So Thanks. Virgil, Blue, and Blue. I'm going to put this little heart next to blue so that I remember that they're blessed. I won't remember. Um, anyway, uh, legendary action. Uh, cause yay! Um, is everybody within 60 feet of it? Of the yep. big shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah everyone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's gonna do uh, what's called a feed. Oh my god, that's <laughs> nothing okay. good. The ferocious spirit of Sekula flashes through the water, tearing through the foes of the Maw of Sekula. Uh, each creature of the Maw's choosing within 60 feet of it must make a DC 16 deck saving throw. This is an effect I can see, so I have advantage as a barbarian. And it's a saving Everybody throw. Everybody within 10 feet of me <laughs> gets a bonus equal to my charisma modifier also. So everybody within 10 feet of me gets an additional plus four. So I'm so at Virgil and 17 Blue already. Yeah. And then I have Bless, which I can do as many times as I want. So 20. Oh, don't I worry, think Ocean. that includes could... me. Let me double check. Yeah. Yes, Pally or uh, Auras include themselves. I don't think it's going to help me, but it brings me up to a nine. <laughs> and a d4? And you bless? have Bless. You all have Bless, yeah. I can roll that if you'd like. Otherwise, you can roll it yourself. Bring me up to a 10. Hey, hey, Double fine. digits. Oh, yeah. I got a 13, was it? I got a yeah. 6. Um, so I'm going to just roll the damage. It's just 2d6. Okay. Um, it's, two, it's slashing damage. Um, so that's 5 slashing damage to uh, everybody that failed. I assume I failed. I think yes, it's like it's, it was a 16. 16. This, okay. this was one where it was probably easiest for us to know it. Right. Um, uh, the this good news is, attack, is that... Is what? This isn't an attack, is it? Like, it's not no, it's like a legendary attack. action. But yeah, it's, it doesn't list it as the... Uh, so if you, if you passed, you take two. Uh, and then, Virgil, you'll just take one. One?! Right? The good news is, is that Montague passed, so he's still still kicking. For now. For concentration, um, it has to be 10 or above, right? Not a, above 10? Yeah, 10, 10 or, or above. above. Okay, yeah. good. As <laughs> assuming that the damage wasn't more than, like, half yeah, yeah, the damage it's 10 more or than 10, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Gunk, you feel your Leopleurdon sort of pulse a little bit under my uh, and I, I lock eyes with bite you faster, faster. hang on <laughs> uh. <sighs> and that actually costs two legendary actions to do the feed so uh, and now it's the high priestess's turn and the high priestess is going to attack mermaid fighter dude because that's who attacked her last um, and she is going to Hmm. Fuck is she gonna do? Dun, 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 dun. She's gonna cast Guiding Bolt. 
on the on the mermaidman with an eight to hit which doesn't hit so i don't think that it does does it do half damage oh so many nope. things no like, not guiding no. bolt yeah okay so, uh then she wastes a spell slot and uh her guiding bolt misses I said bolt uh and she looks angry And then, um, oh, the legendary actions of Mob Sekula kind of suck, so. Um, he uh, just yeah. bit an infinite number of people in a 60-foot <laughs> radius. But he can only do that once. It's Gunk's turn. Uh, per turn. <laughs> well, oh. once per round. Yeah. Because it counts as two legendary actions and he only has three. The others per are round. he can yeah. detect... Or he can move. So, Ooh. if we'd gone the stealth route, hit, this would have been much. Worse. Hit the big shark. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, it does. Oh, oh heavily nice. armored. The shark's not very armored. Jump, jump. He just has jump. the Christmas lights. That's Forty-one. It. Jesus Christ, he looks fucked up. Bite, fight, bite, fight. <laughs> like Fail. he looks fucked up, and everybody is shocked. Does twenty hit the Baron man? It does. Are you gonna move up a lick? I guess you have a, a, a reach. I have a, probably. Oh, I have a ten foot. Yeah, range. you're good. Okay. Um, Fight how Andy. would the Leoplerodon like to <gasps> kill the Baron? Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm not I can't I don't know that this is Montague Blaine because I'm just a big stupid <laughs> dinosaur. I don't keep my memories or anything, but I do keep my personality. So I think. The fact that this guy, this big strong fish man, is going after this very weak little mage makes me very angry. So I <laughs> jump the the shark and then just whack him real hard, like away from everyone else, sort of like in like that direction. He goes, "No, my plans," and then he dies. What was the what plan? plan? What? Gone. Oh, man. Yeah, what was the plan? <laughs> this is just an attack that doesn't really. Okay. None of you understand military strategy. Oh, <laughs> right, big bitey friend. Ah, uh, all right, Baz. Tis you. All right. Uh, I'm. I'm going to see that. Uh, sort of swim over here, as best I can. And you're you gonna take an attack of opportunity. Get an attack of opportunity. Yes, I will. Oh, good. I can close your sheet. Fuck you, bye, Baron. Okay. Um. Let me pull up what they actually can do. They will hit you with their toothsome staff. Ooh. Or they will Ooh. attempt to. Toothsome. Sounds like something I want. Toothsome. Does a 21 hit? Yup. <laughs> that is 14 piercing damage. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, she got crazy staff. Why uh. do you keep moving, bats? <laughs> Oh. Okay, well, no. this may change <laughs> some things. Nope. God damn it, Baz! <laughs> no. Would you like inspiration? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, uh, this, might be worth it. this might be worth it, sure. Yeah, yeah I will get mine. It. Okay. Do it. Yes. Oh my god. Nice. Much better. Oh, oh, my. Okay, we still have a Leo Pleuridon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thank frog! Oh my god! <laughs> Instead of a poison jalapeno <laughs> popper. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> just a poisonous frog, just kind of floating in the. <laughs> yeah, I I sort of <laughs> tell Montague as I've been stabbed and the blood is everywhere. Uh, make sure you have your distance from these <clears throat> individuals. Thank you. Um. And then Baz... Very helpful. And he coughs up some blood. Um, I hate wizards. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think I can get both of them in a 60-foot cone. And if I aim it... You'll get a lot of people in a 60-foot cone. Well, I'm thinking you? like aiming it this way. So starting here and then... Oop, stop. There we go. 
like down. Won't that also get Hi. Virgil and Ocean and the Fish Priest? <laughs> and yep. the Leopleridon? Uh, and maybe Dunlum. <laughs> yeah, maybe Dunlum too. Because if I name it, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it goes straight down. I think the cone. Well, so if you want it, 60 feet is this. Can you see my thingy? Yes. So from, if yes. you, that's the end at 60 feet. So it will definitely include, th like this it's is 60. almost everyone. It's going to include yeah. Dunlum and Virgil and Ocean and the Fish Priest. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt my friends. I thought you were like, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. And I'm like, Let's here we go. Let's no. do it. <laughs> Scottish right. Pass is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Not to do scorching pass. ray at third level. Um, I think he may have sustained brain damage. Mm -hmm. uh, I realize I could have done two, shield. Three. Oops. Oh, well, I definitely usually play this character. At um, whom? At uh, all of Adam, at uh, our fish priest person. Fish priest. Okay. So um, at 18, 16, 16 27, 23. Yeah. Uh, they all hit. Nice. 17, uh, 24, 21, 30, 31? 17, 24, 34. 34 fire damage. What? It's... 34. The 7 and 11 oh, is because of the off crit, of, yeah. and it didn't actually count. Thank you. I was like, this isn't adding up. Okay, you said 34? Yeah. Uh, the priest also looks real fucked up. Real bad. Just uh, not good. No. And then it's Virgil's five, turn. 10, 15. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Um... I go up there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, reckless attack. Great weapon mastery. Uh, oh, I should have been doing more uh, damage before because I wasn't I accidentally was clicking on the wrong uh, blade. That's okay. Um, yeah. Great weapon mastery with the wave cutter blade. Reckless. <laughs> Ten. Ten does Ten. not hit. Okay, yeah, that's right. Sorry. I was like, I feel like that's lower than I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> and again. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to burn the inspiration on that to reroll. Sure. Nope. Oh, I'm lucky. That's oh, wow. roll? Jesus. Yep. That's rough. Yep. Well, now it's the fish priest lady's turn. How do people look health wise? Um, Fish Priest Lady definitely sees that that Montague doesn't look so good. Um, but of course, she doesn't have any fucking distance uh, ones. So she's just going to go through the shark and definitely take an attack of opportunity. And then why would you make this trick? God damn casters. It's fine. <laughs> she's like, I got to heal. It's just I got to do it. Oh, that was a critical success on there. So that's 26 piercing damage. I... Well, oh, no. so... Virgil's going to turn. You didn't sign would anything. Would that have happened? When does it happen? Like, would it be when she was still next to me? Upon or technically when they leave. So leaving. she'd be like up here. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. You didn't sign so, anything contractually binding about keeping her She's alive, like, I gotta right? heal. Fuck. <laughs> Just... Chomp, 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 chomp. So she's down. And it's Mermaid Fighter dude's time to shine. He's gonna reckless attack with his great axe. There you go, buddy. There you <gasps> go. Know. Close. That's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, crit. so that's a crit success. We can do this. Ooh, close. 16 damage? How do I want to do this? Yay! <laughs> How do you want to do this? So he is just going to say, no, Cheryl! And just start like wailing oh, wow. at um, at the the, the, the priestess kind of words. Couldn't. The whole backstory. Um, and then he is going to run over to Cheryl. Can't do anything. I'm right kind of shipping Cheryl and, you know. Yeah, the Cheryl and and mermaid fighter fighter <laughs> mermaid fighter dude 
mermaid fighter dude. I, I love them so much because like the fish people are the opposite of mermaid. Like they're fish top <laughs> and their feet. So it's just funny that yeah. I like yep. that. They're going to have just actual fish babies. Yeah, they're, just... they're going to have a set of twins, <laughs> one, and one's going to be yeah. a fish, and one's going to be a person. A human. That was also my first thought. Was like, one's just a people, and one's a f- just a full oh, fish. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, that's their turn, and now it's it's Montague's turn. And uh, he's going to say, I really wish I could heal. That would be really useful. And then... He is back the fuck up, Montague. But we're so close. That's no. the point. We For should... once, he's cor- yes. Montague rushes in. No. Well, all right, I'll I'll trust you until. Let's not go crazy. This way. <laughs> I've learned a lot. <sighs> and um. How, what is the range on Magic Missile? 120 feet. Six, uh, so. 60, I think. 120. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Geez. Or at least That's it says that it is. Um, so he's going to cast it at the shark again. This time. Nice. Again. I didn't mean to say it. One. Again two, for the very first time. A three. A four. A five. Um, and those just hit, right? Those just hit. Yep. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. 19. And with that, Montague, as he runs back and says, I trust you, and then shoots a bunch of missiles at the shark, the shark just suddenly, you see it, like, shudder, and then it turns upside down and floats slowly towards the top of the ceiling, like a dead fish. Amazing. And it's going to take some work to get that out of here. He loves you, Baz. Montague, you've done it. And you are out of combat. And Mermaid Fighter Dude is just yelling, Somebody please help Cheryl! Can anybody help Cheryl? I feel like as as this is happening, but just because of the slightly like more forward position, Virgil's just like swims across, slaps bandage for use of a, of a uh, healer's kit. There, okay. she's fine. Does that make her this. conscious? Or just is stable. That... Okay. Okay. Dumlum will make her wake Dumlum. up. It's fine. Sure, I was going to say, Dumlum kind of wades through all the blood in the water. Mm-hmm. Who, who's Cheryl? <laughs> yes, it's a first level cure wounds. Because I have first levels. Uh-huh. Yep. Yay, Cheryl is alive! Da-da-da-da. Um... I'm just ripping shit apart. I'm still a big dinosaur. <laughs> just like, I'm just ah. ripping everything apart. I was going to say, ah. Virgil's like going to run over to like the small, the priest, the one that's just like a medium size. They're like, gunk, gunk. Just like, throw them. <laughs> Gump. I catch it in mid-air like a dog. <laughs> Whee! Who's a good gunk? <laughs> and Baz is, uh, Baz, says, I don't control you. Uh, Montague is going to um, say, oh, just, just uh, one moment. And then um, he is going to uh, flip through his spell book and then kind of touch his throat and you hear, and only Baz understands because it's in Sahuagin, uh, but really, really loudly, like reverberating through the water and stuff. You hear, the Baron is dead. The Maw of Sekula has been defeated. Lay down your weapons and surrender. And um, you hear a cheer go up from around you. Not a Sahuagin cheer. (laughs) Uh, And you assume that perhaps you have uh, defeated all of the Sahuagins that you needed to defeat him. Dunlum, just a quick refresher while you're busy with Cheryl. The 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 lizard folk with a uh, tail for days, that was on the kill list. No kill list. I just sort of flip Virgil off and just <laughs> give, give uh, Montague a big old hug, with my talons first and then my wings. Wrap you around hear me. like a bone crack, and he's like, "Oh, so fragile." I don't care. Don't so care. So fragile. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no kill list. Okay. Uh, and he is going to just pass out. 
in your arms. Not like unconscious, yeah, yeah. like death saves, but just yeah. like a oh, fuck. <laughs> just he is out like a fucking light. Fair. You, could, you get the feeling that he was running on pure adrenaline alone. Yeah. And that like now that things have passed, he has literally nothing in him. I'll just sort of gently lay him down and kind of tend to him. Uh, just, uh, could I have a medic when we have a chance? I don't think he's dying. I, I just, I think it's a, a bit much. Cheryl's like, oh yeah, let me just, I'll just, and you just kind of like doggy paddle fish swim over because she's still really hurt. <laughs> Virgil's going to be like, there's, I can see some, I can see some rib that seems maybe first <laughs> heal yourself. You're, you're missing just Chunk. Oh, yeah, thanks. And she'll, like, touch, like, her insides as they are starting to come out and just uh, heal herself a bit. And she'll walk over to, to Montague and she'll yeah, touch him yeah. and heal him. And she'll say, I think I think he needs to sleep for a bit, though. Makes sense. And I, I also don't know how he's breathing underwater. I assume there was something, but I'm not he's sure. He's a magician. He right. can do magic. I, yeah, but I don't he's know if he thought... But if he's unconscious... It's not a concentration spell. End... <laughs> yeah, it's not a concentration. But what if he's at the end of it? Uh, I'm just going to ritually cast water breathing, just in case. I'm going to go back over to Sven, if that's okay. So you just... Oh, yes. We'll, we'll be fine. Thank you. Carol okay. and Sven. Cute. And she's just going to uh, just kind of fishy paddle. Virgil's absolutely looting any weapons and all of the, like, Christmas light decorations from the Maw of Sekula. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you now have beautiful shark Christmas lights Yay. that you can wrap around yourself. Yep, that's where um, they're going. <laughs> um, the High Priestess had um, something called a Toothsome Staff. Ooh, it yeah, hurt. that sounded really cool. It so hurt. it looks like, what was her strength? So it's, a, well, so it's a plus five. So what do I oh. subtract from that, though? Because it's not an actual plus five, right? It's like plus her. It, it plus would, five to hit or damage? Plus five to both. hit. So oh, both. it's probably going off of her strength mod. Which is only plus two. So is it a plus three? No, proficiency. Probably plus proficiency plus. bonus, probably. Oh, which I don't know what that but is. But I don't it's know what the other plus, plus one three would be a, for damage unless it's it, it to be fair the other thing is that weapon attacks on monsters and npcs aren't necessarily balanced to be actual items right so let's say fair. it's a plus one cool the toothsome staff and it does 2d8 uh plus your strength piercing damage damn not bad it's, uh, yeah. that's it's the staff. toothsome staff um and then um Ba, 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 ba. Uh, the Maw of Sekula is a Maw, so it's got a lot of teeths. You're going to see Virgil's, like, tail sort of dissipates, and he's just going to sort of, like, sit there looking at the shark for a second, and I actually am going to expend a, a charge of rage. You're just going to see Virgil's mouth stretch to be this, like, shark maw, and then just sort of Ooh. out of it will, like, flop a gassed tongue. It's terrifying. Good. And it's got Good. those like multiple rows of shark teeth. Um yeah, and the Baron just had a trident that um uh was oh it was not a plus five to hit, it was a plus two to hit. I don't know what I'm talking about. So you're the other thing. I just can't read. So it's just a, the um the Baron. It's just a two D eight. Yeah. No, it's yeah, it's two D eight plus your strength. Yeah, exactly. But it, well, yeah, a plus one weapon is fine. I, I I'll make it fancy. And it's the same is the the trident is just uh, a regular trident, but it'll be a plus one trident, and it's a two D six plus strength piercing from the from the Baron. And um, you guys are in the. Um, where the fuck did I say you were? You're in the throne room. Yes. My God, where's I the have throne room? I have noted stab stab. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Rachel's going to look up the throne room, and you're going to totally be able to. You can also if... tell me what else you'd like to do while I'm looking at this. 
If Baz is ritual casting, can he concentrate at the same time? Can you ritual cast and concentrate at the so. same time? I think it's ritual... just casting as well. But I think ritual casting takes concentration, doesn't oh, it? Oh, does it? I'm pretty yeah. sure. I think it does. Let's see here. Oh. You guys can look it up. No, it just extends it. Uh, or the spell can be used to cast a ritual. Ritual version takes 10 minutes longer. Doesn't expend a spell slot. To cast no, a ritual. sorry. That's Here's the thing, though. It takes its casting time and makes it 10 minutes plus whatever it was. Longer casting times require concentration. Any spell of a longer casting time, you have to concentrate the whole time on the casting. But is it like actually using like the concentration yes, mechanic? Yes, it is literally the concentration so, mechanic. Yeah. Okay, so you okay. are no longer. If your concentration is broken, the spell fails. Yeah. Okay, so that would make well, sense. I'm tearing shit off as a Leoplorodon, and then all yeah. of a sudden just pop into a little frog again. I'm just going. Ar, ar, ar. <laughs> in my mouth. Uh, Beautiful. Hey, gunk. I'll I'll hey. sort of like chuck a couple of jewels from the uh, Baron's like. You know, just sort of regalia over to Gunk. You, go. like Chuck you also up. find hey. that the Baron has a platinum armband. Doesn't Ooh. appear; it just appears to be fancy and platinum. Got got and, some bling for you, Gunk. Uh, Hell yeah! And a key. Ooh. Ooh. Gunk, well, you gotta find what this is. Summer. I was, and it was the coolest thing ever. Blue. You oh, you gotta so try it out. You what? You were so big. I was. I was real big. It was so cool, and I ate a lot of stuff. And now that I'm turned back into me, I'm kind of regretting that a little bit. But it was real <laughs> fun at the time. Where do the things you ate when you were a dinosaur go when you turn back? I'm not sure. It's definitely still there is the problem. So I'm not sure how they're going to come out is also what I'm worried you, about. You ate an entire high priestess. <laughs> yeah. And a baroness. I'm pretty sure. Fair chunk. A, yeah. A lot of whole bodies. Yeah. Well, yeah. And a couple of guards. I don't know how that works, though. You'll have some indigestion for a while, but it's not so bad. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe. And if not, if I'm having trouble, you know, at the, the other end of the digestion process, Baz can just turn me back into a dinosaur and <laughs> that'd be fine. Sure. Outside the house. Yes, obviously. I, I will not play dinosaur inside the house. Thank I you, promise. Gunk. <laughs> just rampage through the town instead like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so much fun. Baz, <laughs> we have to do that again. Maybe we'll see. Our house does border the cove, so. Uh, oh, think... time for dinner. <laughs> I'm just picturing a Leo Pluridon doing the like free willy jump up over the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> With Baz standing underneath it. Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh um... Okay, let's find where this key goes. Have we so... found have we seen it? A... I'm going to say, or something? because yeah, we'll look all around. Yeah, you're going to take some time to look around, right? Because yeah. you've got time here now. So you're going to look around and find, um, you know, and you're going to do some searching because we're not going to do that room by room because Jesus. Um, but you are going to go uh, and you're going to find the treasure chamber. And in the treasure chamber, you're going to see the coffers. And you're going to see that it has a keyhole. So, so probably this then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. I'm just sort of. I assume Montague's not very heavy underwater, so I'm just carrying him. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I just picture like Gunk is like standing on Virgil's shoulders, like go, 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 Baz, make Please, God. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just yeah, picturing in the, the, in, the, in, the, in the midst of like, as Montague is like in your arms, thrashing in a nightmare, just suddenly like, 
pulls out a hand crossbow, shoots Baz. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yep, exactly uh, what happens. Uh, does it? Because I don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> I'm um, down to less than 20. No, you're good. Okay. Um, the coffer contains the Baron's personal treasure. You find two platinum and pearl coronets of sea elf design. Ooh. I don't know what a fucking coronet is. Sorry. Uh, like a tiara or a crown. It's yeah, a thin, the, more go. woven crown. Uh, I will just tell you the worth, and you can write it down, because I don't want to have to keep track of this shit. For the platinum bands, before those were worth 200 gold pieces. Um, these are worth 700 gold pieces each. And uh, how many? There's two. two. Uh, a fine pearl necklace worth 500 gold pieces. Two gold wristbands inlaid with diamonds worth 250 gold each. And, um, and then a silver ring bearing the signet of the Prince of Monmerg. And then it says, see the insignia of Prince of Monmerg sidebar. I don't know what that means. What sidebar? You're a book. <laughs> and Dave, if it's not literally on the side of those pages, it's an appendix, I guess, probably? Normally, guess. if there's a sidebar, it's within the chapter, at least. I wouldn't have you reference something right. outside of the chapter oh, without yeah. telling you so. And then 200 then... platinum pieces scattered loosely around. I'm sorry, how many? 200? 200 platinum. Let's how much was the pearl necklace and stuff the, like? The pearl was 500. 500. The two gold wristbands with diamonds were 250 each. I have a, a 200, two 700s, one 500, two 250s, and 200 assorted pieces of platinum. Yeah. What was this? So the signet ring wasn't worth anything. It was just like a prince. Uh, see yeah. the sidebar. Yeah. <laughs> the oh. sidebar. Maybe so I got the that as like. Is just Google. Hmm? Let's see. 4,600 gold, a, I think. Prince Mon Total? Monmerg. What do you say, Reddit? <laughs> Reddit has lots to say. Depends what you're asking it. Yeah. Reddit has too much to say, ding, Treasure. So somebody ding. said, I checked the old first edition book and couldn't find anything for it. I assume it was just filler text that they left open and forgot to remove the mention of a sidebar. In wow. Any so, so, so sorry, I just looked at the, the errata for Ghosts of Saltmarsh. Treasure Chamber, page 134. In the treasure subsection, in the description of the silver ring, the entry now reads, quote, a silver ring bearing the signet of the Prince of Monmerg, comma, a spire rising against a blue ocean sky. That was it. Oh, that's it. It was just they that had a just... sidebar because they probably were using it as a story hook, potentially, of like, oh, this could be related to something. And then they scrapped that writing direction, so they just didn't bother to indicate Maybe that. I'll include something of the Prince of Monmerg. I won't. But... Um... Keep looking for that sidebar. <laughs> Keep looking for that sidebar, you guys. Um, yeah, so that's the extent of the treasure that you find uh, in the lovely treasure room. And you meet no more resistance. You see a bunch of, like imprisoned Sawagan being let off to be dealt with somehow. Gunk is dripping in gold. Just everything they can fit <laughs> on their body. Just wearing it themselves. Just wearing everything. So that would be, if I, if I calculated it right, 920 per person gold. Assuming you sell it. I mean, Gunk has sure. decided yeah. that they're sharing it or uh, selling it. Right now, they're just wearing a lot of gold and platinum Never mind. Stuff. <laughs> this, that won't be what comes to us. I'm just I, playing I, dress up right now. I will say that Gunk of is the, playing pretty, pretty princess. Of the oh, yeah. 200 uh, platinum, I feel like Virgil is just in lieu of, like, like going to look around for a bag, not see anything. Just begin, like, pressing platinum pieces onto you. So they, <laughs> so they stick. Just like. Like a, like a like a cake. Like a yeah. Cool, great. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Something about that feels gross. Yeah. There it is. That's why. <laughs> Something that feels. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so I will say that you do all the searching, you do all the whatevering, 
And then you go back to your ship and you're going to begin to make the journey home. And we talked about ending early tonight. So I think that that's where we're going to end it tonight. And then Fair. the next time when we come back, it'll be on the ship ride home where, you know, maybe Montague will not be unconscious. Um, and we'll see. And then meeting up with the, the town council and kind of figuring out where to go from there. But you have officially defeated the big bad. Hooray! Yeah. I, I just like that you led with you'll be on your ship, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so there will be a holiday side adventure? Because that's what happens every time <laughs> we pause aboard our ship. Weeks. I should have uh, done the President's Day one today. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, he just Abraham pulls out like Lincoln a powdered wig. Down, right? <laughs> St. Patrick's will be around there? March 17th, which is... That's not going to get horrifying. Uh, yeah. I don't want to fight a giant leprechaun. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that's... The, Did that's we the level theory. up? God, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what level are you now? Uh, eight, 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 I think. Eight. Oh, eight. Yes, eight. Um, yes. Uh, I will say that once you have slept sure. on your ship and stuff, you will be level nine. Ooh. Huzzah! Awesome. Oh, man. Great. So am I really going to have to do a leprechaun uh, one? So, yeah, I know that this was a shorter one, but... I forgot to mention at the top that we were probably going to do a shorter one today. So I also forgot to mention it. So, uh, Yes, but here we are. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for playing. Thank you, Rachel, for DMing. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed us uh, finally ending the tyranny of the Epmexorp uh, marriage, uh, along with taking out their Orthroshark, the poor random high priestess that Gunk is now digesting, um, and enjoyed the Leo Pluridon fight. Because basically we had a kaiju fight. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, rest of this week, Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, we have Bedlam, a Monster of the Week campaign. Uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, Spire. And 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday, uh, Goats and Dragons, The Fates of Rin. Uh, should be a real good time. I'm sure yeah. Charity won't be absolutely terrified and put upon at any point. Here's sound of tiny bells jingling from bringers pockets. What is that? Um, thanks so much everybody for tuning in as always from everyone here at helpful goat. Stay safe. Be well and yourselves and to each other. Love y'all. Bye. Love you. Bye. Once was a ship that sailed the coast and the name of that ship was the sea ghost. The winds blew hard. Bow dip down, blow me, bully boys, blow. Rah. Soon gangs of Sunday come with glory toes and swords and rum. One day when the smuggling is done, they take his leave and go. Rah. He not been two days on land when on came in an adventurous band. He tried to hide in contraband, but took his final blow. Rah. Soon the menagerie come, a horse turtle, elf, owl, and grown. One day when the shopping is done, they take their leave and go. The council bid them set to sail, following on some lizard's trail, with wispy brows and bikini plate mail, in search of lost cargo. Ah! Soon the menagerie come, to find out where them lizards are from. One day when the talking is done, they'll take their leave and go. Soon may the black hole come.